Hello, hello. I am Mislid. This is Sepulchre by Owl Cave. It's an adventure short. It is a free game that you can pick up off of owlcave.net. It is written by Ashton Rays, um, who wrote Richard and Alice, which is amazing. I'll have a series on that going up probably in the next week. We'll start that. And it's drawn by Ben Chandler, who is working on Blackwell Epiphany, which is the fifth game in the Blackwell series. It's not out yet. The rest of them are on my channel, though. I've played a bit of the alpha of Epiphany, and it is glorious. But enough of that. This, like I said, this is their free game. They put it out in the past couple weeks. It's an adventure short, so it shouldn't take us too long to get through, hopefully. Hopefully. We will see. So let's give it a shot. I don't know anything about it except that it's a game featuring horror, trains, and huge bags. That's what the website tells you. Sure want to start again? Yes. It says again because I did record like a minute just to make sure it recorded. So I haven't actually played anything. This is blind. Just, you know, that's why it's there so you know. Let's go. Wicked shall hold their tongues. They stir <clears throat> beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. I can't have slept long. We left. Uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? Hmm. God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Let's look around at stuff, see what this book is. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. Can we take it with us? I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Oh, come on now. We have a picture of something? It's nothing interesting. But it's art. Apparently also not interesting. So there are no hints of when you're actually over anything. Oh, yes there is. It changes the cursor color slightly. I see. I see. Alright, here's a bag on the ground. Let's look at that. What do we have here, then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. No sense in taking the entire thing. How about something that's inside it? No? Okay. So we need to go get some water, sounds like. Man has a dry throat, is coughing Let's go all the time. Up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. Yeah, let's clear your head by drinking some whiskey. Sounds like a plan. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Auger Peak Island. I'm on this train to. I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... To what? A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. Okay, we got other rooms that I can't right-click on. That's all right. But I can this one. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. Fair enough. Let's... A friendly looking fellow. Makes a change for public transport. Let's speak to him. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. I've seen you poking around. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. That painting on the wall. 
Isn't she a beaut? Runs like clockwork, she does. It's this train. Uh, isn't it a little old? <laughs> you kids today have got no appreciation of machinery. We've got to be the same age at best. Practically grew up on her, I did. Ain't nothing about old Gloria that I don't know. Okay. Can we go through here? The cursor's not changed, I suspect not. Can we ask about Gloria? Since he mentioned it. No. Okay. Fair enough. That was our room, wasn't it? Or was this one our room? Yeah. Okay, B's our room. That's why I couldn't click Locked. on it. I can't hear anyone inside. Fair enough with this one. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Lock. Wait, what? Are we locked in our <laughs> little train car? Hey, conductor man, could I get out of here? Right you are then. Keyhole. The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folk always jump to conclusions. Ain't nothing wrong, just how we do things when our guests are asleep. Prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out on this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting, if you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. Sheesh. Um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> I can give you the key, though. On one condition. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will look you up. Just tell him it's for done. Whew. No problem, my friend. Thank you. I can totally do that. So apparently I have a key somewhere in the magical ether that is my pockets. Let's get a drink. If this whole game's about getting a drink, this would be amazing. Locked? No, come on. How do I... Oh, here we go. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on Thames Museum, badge ID CCPN1318. That can't be useful, no? It's our wallet, I guess. A bit of money. Oh. Just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> A crisp five pound note. Okay, what's this? It's my credit card. Okay, let's take our key. Aha! Open. Now the pictures, look at this. A solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Can I, like, move the painting? Since you can zoom in, I assume it's important, right? Do we see details on it? No, probably not. I mean, it seems normal, right? It's a door. Okay, so we got a woman looking this way. That slamming noise gets me every time. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Get Don's whiskey? How about our own whiskey? You are kidding me. No good. I can't even get the key in. What? Ah. It's nothing. I can't just come. Ah. Better hurry. I'm trying to hurry to the restaurant. You don't let me. Can I knock on the Locked. door? No. Ah. Alright. Now what? I go back to Don. Say Don. Trying to help you get your drink on. 
but apparently I don't know how to use keys. So that's a problem. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Trying to get a drink. Of course there's a rush. Ah. So, I'm supposed to go back to my room Look. in the meantime? Let's do that. Let's go back inside here. We'll waste some time. Read a book. Right? I don't want... Yeah, I don't care the book. That's still that. Comfy enough to sleep on, evidently. You slept in your chair, okay. It's nothing interesting. Fair enough. So there's still nothing going on in here. No sense taking that. It's not interesting. Shut us down. Well, raise it. Shut us down. I heard you. No use. Stop. Okay, so let's see. He'll open the thing when he's ready. Is he ready now? Is that just a puzzle of go around and do stuff? Or do I need to, like, bribe Don with $5 to get what I want? Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. Locked. Oh. Hello, random person whose room I just walked into. I'm very sorry. Um... What is this giant bag? A huge black holdall. Looks very heavy. God knows what's inside. A beautifully polished wooden box. It has a red, teardrop-shaped gem set into the top. He doesn't look very well. That's if it's even a he. He looks positively sick, in fact. It's a witch. Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? He's muttering something. I can't make it out. I'm sorry? What was that? Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. Is he going to tell you to stop? This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. Come on, man. It's an adventure game. It's nothing interesting. He is still not being helpful. Let's go back out of here. Let's try this door again. It's probably not open. Right? Locked. Nope. Okay. Let's go back to our to Don. Our ticket inspector. Say, hey, there's like a dying witch warlock guy in 2C. If you could please Go that way, and while you're that way, um, unlock the restaurant so I can get a drink. Grub or leave? What? There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye, and I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these lads have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey, I saw one of your fellow passengers pop their head out the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing. Thanks. 
Um, are you sure that she was... <sighs> what? Dawn's amazing. Alright, which of these is she in? She's probably back in two, right? Locked. So he couldn't hear anyone inside of any of these. So let's go to... He has the end of the corridor, though. Right? But this was... This was empty? No. Well, this was the right room. Hello? More large bags. A pile of paper dogs. They're not very well made. It's not very nice of you. Of More large bags. Let's ru rummage through our stuff. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Oh, come on. She's not here? Something doesn't... I... It's nothing... In okay, nothing's anything interesting, apparently. It's nothing interesting. I can't just cart... Okay, you can't carry around mess. Shuttered and... Right. Just checking stuff. Just checking stuff. Where is the girl at? Locked. Okay. Locked. A solemn looking young woman. Nothing like crazy about this happened. Game might be nuts, I don't know. You know, one of these where like the picture would change based off what happens. Locked. Where did this girl go? Right, nobody in here. Same bag. Got a box. So is she in my room? Where is she at? Let's see if she is in here. Nope. Alright, let's ask Dawn about her. Dawn, did you really see somebody? Are you lying to me? Dawn, you're killing me. Can I sneak past Dawn? What's over here? A friendly looking fellow. Huh. A painting of a train. <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? I'm... Mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. Could she be... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Can we just steal a... Some ragtime music going on. I think I'll call him Sam. Okay, we have Pepper Dog. That's weird. And a door unlocked in the next carriage. Let's go over there. And see what we can see. Was it one of these? Look. Nope. What was this one? Look. Nope. Okay. It was Floyd's door. We can finally get some whiskey. There we go. Alright, what we got in here? Food's getting cold. I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? How's the food getting cold if you just got here? Like, well, I guess it'd be getting cold even if you did just get here. That's true. Even if they just put it out, it would be getting cold, I suppose. So there's a gentleman there. The woman's still missing. What is this? Nothing. They can click on. He doesn't look too happy. I wouldn't either if none of my dinner guests had shown up. 
kind of a creepy fellow, and coming from someone who works in a museum, that's saying a lot. Good evening, Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang. How nice of you to join us. It's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business. Business? I, uh... A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was, has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, oh, yes. He did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. That's a nice of you. Huh. It's empty. What do I do with an empty hip flask? A handy hip flask. The initials KD are etched into the side. I thought his name was Don. Just talk to Floyd again. It's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. It'll be five pounds. Five pounds? You're burying me alive here. Wait, did I get a drink? It's Don shot of whiskey. Same here for me. You know, my good man. I'm so confused right now. What just happened? Well, we just drank. Hit me with another. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. Lang. We wouldn't want you to go before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? Just one more for the road. I can handle it. Never had difficulty driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met, you and I. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What the heck is going on? What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. May I suggest you simply take the bottle back to your room? Whether you decide to give it to Don or not, is your call. Wait, you just told me I couldn't have one more shot, and now you give me a bottle of whiskey? Once more, unto the bridge. Dear so friends. confused. Well, what's going on? I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang. No matter how much you might wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. What? You just... A whiskey bottle. I'm so confused. Kind of a... So confused. Nicely stocked. Just the way I like it. They've got a pretty good range, considering this is a train. Okay, let's go back and try to find the woman who we haven't found yet, who made this little paper doll of a dog. Paper doll of a dog. Right. Anywho. I don't think I should go back in there just yet. Fair enough. Locked. So that's locked. This one's still locked. Locked. I like how he never tries to B. He only tries to A to see if it's locked or not. He just says to B is locked. Okay, so nothing going on in here still. Check my room out. Nothing going on in my room. 
Say hello to Don. Ah, it's empty. That's no good, son. Not really something I want. Locked. I can't hear anyone inside. All right, so what are we missing? I need forty dollars. Forty dollars. Oh, I've got a credit card. Let us see if we can buy some whiskey on credit on a train. Probably not. That does not seem like much of a puzzle. That's okay. And I'm back. And here is... It's my, my credit card? Okay. Okay. Here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. What? Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. No good with memorizing numbers. Dr. Harold Lang. There we go. 1318. Thank you. All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. So we have a bottle of whiskey. A whiskey bottle. Looks expensive. Which was the bottle at? I know that flask did not hold an entire fifth of whiskey. Come on now. I don't believe it. What the hell is happening to me? Oh, my head. I can't think. <coughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met. I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for. You are, after all, blind drunk. What you talking about? I only had like two shots. Or was that drunk we started this? That's I don't possible. Think I should go back in there just yet. What? Why not? I'm trying to give the man his. I. Trying to give the man his whiskey. Look. Guess we'll talk to this gentleman. Look, I am what you're looking for. I just don't know what that is. You're lonely. Is that it? Yeah. I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. I think Floyd... Give him a dog, paper doll. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but... but everyone loves origami. <laughs> there you go. That seems to have done the trick. I think he wants me to open it. Scared about that. Let's do this. Let's open the demon box. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench ascends unto the heavens from her womb. Interesting. Is, is it? <laughs> A beautiful teardrop shaped ruby. I'm no gemologist, but I'd wager it's real. It's firmly attached, but hey, I think I can move it. Oh, interesting. All right, let's open this. Locked. Locked. Ah, it's open. Oh, the box is filled with earth and worms. What? They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away?
pour some whiskey in there. No? Okay. Hey, gotta try. So how's the other way? Like, turn the little key thing to the right, the gym? Oh, there's no... Okay. It's open. Gotcha. He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. This isn't mine. So we found some worms in a box. Weird. Locked. It's probably also locked still. Maybe we can go left, though. Nope. Lock. Oh. Hello? No. Let's talk to Don, see if we can give him his whiskey bottle. We need to ask about the uh, worms first, though. No, we can't. No, we cannot. Hey, alcoholic, here you go. Well, well. You really came through for an old man, boy. -o. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. What? Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about, pal? There's no girl on this train. But you, you said... said... No, it's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But you know, I like you, Lang. You got a spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. Reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. Not normally like that. Even Floyd's usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? No seen him there around, son. You know what I need on a night like this? A good book. Can it be a good novel and a drink? A good book, eh? Have you ever read the works of Louis Cassell? Can I say I've heard of him? He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Augur Peak Island. Augur Peak Island? Never heard of it. Isn't that where we're going? Well, <clears throat> I have one of his novels somewhere. That would be just the ticket. <laughs> Get it? Yes. Okay, so this man doesn't think we... There are other passengers on this train, including... Floyd. That's worrisome. That is worrisome. Let's take our book now. So are we... No one likes it as much as I did. Are we hallucinating? No. Are we reliving the same um, time period over and over, but different days? So it's so like the girl's gone, Floyd's you know with the night off. Something doesn't feel right. I want to have a look inside. Right, so those are all the same. I can't just so nothing changed. Is that guy still there on the end? Is Don just crazy? So now I'm all kinds of curious. Solemn. Let's look at this again, see if anything changed on it. Since our only real reference point. Looks the same, doesn't it? She's looking over here at something. Yeah? I don't know. I don't know, this is still locked, I'm sure. The yep. Lock. Yep. Okay. This guy, his worms are still there. Yeah. Okay, so Don's just crazy. Don is just insane. Fair enough. Let's give him a book. Of course, our guy thinks Don is 35, and Don is obviously 60. So, I don't know what's about that. I don't know. Our guy is confused and hallucinating. Probably not even on a train. What is going on here? Uh, no. Handy hip flask. A key. On it is a carving of armor. Wait, an A. 
2A. Let's take that. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. We're just gonna go on some woman's, um... ...train car and say, hey, how you doing? I know you were sleeping, but, um... Hi, I was just out having some whiskey, and thought I'd come say hello. That's not gonna go well at all. Huh. Guess you won't be wanting the novel after all. Best leave him be. Alright, let's go stalk somebody. Maybe they've got some birds to go with those worms we found. And let's see, 2A. Let's unlock this. Freak somebody out, I'm sure. Great. This is inviting. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around her house. What is it about these pictures? The lamp casts a pale, cold glow over the photographs. The flame is perfectly still. I want to have a look inside, but this is somebody's bag. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corner. My God! The Victorian death pictures. I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? Am I even awake? I... <laughs> My God. The Victorian death pictures. So Victorian death picture is where they take pictures of dead people. Which is interesting. I'm not sure why that was a thing, but you know. It's what was done. So we have some photos of a dead woman. And Floyd's not there, and everything else is closed. Okay. Now I don't have that first key, right? Nope. Let's back to talk. Let's go back and talk to our only contact then. Don! Buddy. Pal. Alcoholic. Could you possibly help me out? Oh. What? What's this back here? A control panel of some sort. It's locked. I don't know what it does. Let's open it and find out. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh. God, get me out of this place. What have I done? This wasn't here before. It's slightly unzipped. I can see the whiskey flask sticking out. Oh, God. Wait, they're body bags? This wasn't... I don't want to... Okay, we triggered a breaking sound. Where was that from? Where was the breaking sound from? Let's try these different rooms. I don't understand. We're just living our man's nightmare, apparently. Where everybody's dead. And it's moving, because, oh my goodness gracious. It's moving. It's twitching. Please, God, don't make me look. I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. I want you to open that. It's... Okay, let's check this then. I don't know what this is. A toy train stuck in the dirt. This wasn't in the box before. Oh, I know. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. 
I can't get my nails in the gap. Okay, can we put a, our, like, jam this card in there? There. There we go. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. Okay, so that's probably part of the control. So there's, okay. Symbolism of this. The train is in... It's been buried like it was in a grave, right? With worms around it. So maybe this train is also... I can't do Full this of anymore. death. I'm gonna go with that. Everyone on this train is actually dead. I'm just gonna see if, this, see if this is open. It is not. Oh, it is open. Uh oh. Oh! Rotten. It's all rotten. This looks years old. How is this even possible? <gasps> I think I'm going to be sick. All the whiskey's destroyed. gone. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Probably you. So that's just a fake door. Okay. Probably you is my explanation for all of this. Somehow you're responsible. This is your punishment. You're like a purgatory of sorts, perhaps? I don't know. Let's go at these controls. See if that key will open these controls up. Maybe stop the train train in quotes because we're probably not even on a train at least this this um, bag isn't moving there we go the panel is open there's a switch marked shutters right the rooms have shutters in them hit it the trains picking up speed did you hit the shutter switch and the trains pick up speed what Let's go in our room, we'll go down the list. And our room is super dark now. Interesting. I'll just slide it open. No. No. Dear God, what is this? Earth. Nothing but earth pressed tight against the window this can't have just happened this can't be happening earth i can't breathe there's no air Please forgive me. And man looked down upon the earth, and the earth crawled up to meet him. Ashton, what did we just play? What, what just happened? Huge bag design, that's awesome. So we... So we were dead? I don't... I'm not sure I understood. I don't think I know what just happened. But we died. I got that. And we appeared inside a bag. And everybody else died and appeared in bags. Yeah, I'll think about that for a while and figure it out. 
like four huge bags were harmed in making this game. It's totally Ben's fault. I am sure it was. I am sure it was. The island will rise. What? Is there more? So that was Sepulcher. It is by Owl Cave. And it's free. Head on over to owlcave.net. Click around, pick it up. There is a special edition which has the soundtrack, some wallpapers, and a digital copy of Bright Lights and Glass Houses, which is a collection of short stories. It's, uh, I think it's normally on Amazon for like five bucks, so you can, you know, give three dollars, get soundtrack and that, so it's cheaper. So that's kind of nice. I'm still not sure what happened. Um, I suspect I need to go back through, look for some symbolism, except that we're dead? And the bags are all dead people? I am i don't know. I feel like I missed something important. But it's thoroughly creepy, which is nice. But without the jump scare portions of it, right? Like, that's how you should do creepy. It's subtle. Things change, even though as far as you're concerned, nothing should have. The food suddenly being rotten. The, the um, people not being where they're supposed to be. The ticket conductor um, saying things and then saying he didn't say them. All that kind of stuff. The meeting, the interactions with Floyd, where apparently you've had this interaction many times before, but you don't remember any of it. But you react as if you do sometimes. But we haven't seen it, of course. All that stuff. Very subtle, I thought. Very cool. Get away from the traditional jump scare stuff that, um, you know, so many horror games tend to do now, which is just boring, really. I don't, I don't know. A lot of people like it. I'm not a huge fan of those type of games. Because I'm like, that doesn't mean, you know, anybody scared. That means that you threw something up in their face real quick and they jumped. Blah. Anyway, I'm hoping they do more stuff like this. Um, as far as I know, Outcave only has a couple games. They do Richard and Alice, which, like I said at the beginning of this, is amazing. I'll do a series on that sometime. They did um, this one. They have a couple others that I don't know anything about. So head on over to Outcave.net, check them out. As always, I am Miss and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.